<clears throat> it's a pretty picture down on the river this mm -hmm. evening, that glow. Yes, nice, nice and pretty mm -hmm. and clear out there for now. Is and we're going to do another around? one tomorrow. Good. Sure, because you asked for it. Awesome. But I've got a chance of showers, <laughs> and it's not a big deal at all, I'm afraid. But do you realize what happens in a week, less than a week, mm. six nights from tonight? It's trick-or-treat night, yeah. so let's not be too early with our trick-or-treat forecast. Monday night sunset will be at 635. Twilight goes to 717 on that Monday night, and it will be cool and breezy for the night. There is a chance of showers, but at this point, it's after 9 p.m. If that's the way that works out, that's great. We'll update that forecast for each and every night as we go along just to have some fun. We've got clear skies across our area, of course. No precipitation, no clouds. This is going to allow for another cooling night tonight. Another night for Hurricane Rena to continue to strengthen. She's almost a major hurricane now with 110 mile an hour winds. We had a little eye develop earlier in the day, right about there. There it was. Didn't last long. Filled in pretty quickly. In fact, she's lost some of her structure with some of her outer bands now starting to get pulled apart just a little bit. But the intensity or guidance forecast thinks that she will continue to intensify into our fourth major hurricane of the season. But it won't be very long. Watch. Two to three. There it is. And then back to two by the time we get to Thursday. Well, two is probably, probably very strong for our friends in Cancun and Cozumel as that storm goes right by with the strongest winds and heaviest rains off to the right. Then it gets caught by the trough that's crossing the Gulf and quickly starts to slow down. That space there is a 24-hour period. This is really going to slow down over the weekend and probably diminish very, very quickly. We'll keep track of that. It's not a part of our forecast unless we get some of those clouds and unless we're lucky enough to get some of that moisture. But everything right now is staying offshore. This front that we hoped would be our next rain chances really starting to wash out. But by the time we get to late in the evening Friday, that's when we start to see some coastal showers and the northern edge of what is Rena's rains will start to try to come our way. Any way you look at it, it looks like clouds will be a part of the forecast to end the weekend but, or end the week and go into the weekend, but that's not so bad at all. Real quickly, though, after the high pressure has moved out of the way, we see a patchy fog night tonight with clear skies. East winds at 3 to 8 and 52 should be our overnight low. Tomorrow looks like a delightful day, just a little bit warmer, mostly sunny, we'll say, south winds, and a high tomorrow of 78. Then after the 78, down to 56 tomorrow night, mostly sunny, 80 for Thursday. So, Dawn, I've got not one, but two real nice days still to come. And on Friday, 74, with a, just a 20% chance of late-day showers. Once that front passes, it does look like things will cool a bit, but the weekend looks dry. There's our 20% chance of rain late Monday, Halloween, and for two Tuesday as well. That would be the 1st of November. So take a look at our weekend forecast as we look ahead with the fair in its opening weekend, plus shalom, shalom y'all, on Sunday with the Jewish Food Festival at Forsyth Park. Should be a delightful weekend for whatever you've got planned. Follow us on Twitter at Big John Weather. Have a great day tomorrow. All right.